Hello everyone and welcome to K-Pop Lyrics Decoded, where we take the difficult Korean grammar and K-Pop songs and break it down into more easy to understand little chunks. And today we're doing Shake It by Sistar. And the first sentence we have today is, 흔들리는 내맘 모르겠니? And that's basically four words. The first word is, 흔들리는, which comes from, Hundelida, which means to shake or waver. But notice that nun at the end there. That's the adjective form of this verb. So if we want to take hundelida and make it an adjective, we want to make it go from to shake to shaking. We want to make it an adjective. We add nun. Hundelida means to shake, but hundelinen means shaking. It's an adjective. All right, and the next word is ne, which means my. It really comes from the word nae, which means mine. But of course, in Korean, we like to make things shorter. So instead of taking all that time to say nae, we just say ne. <laughs> uh, and the next word we have is mam, which comes from maum, which means heart. This is another contraction. <laughs> We're saving a lot of time here today. So mam comes from maum. And both mean heart. And the last word, this one's a little bit more difficult. Morugeni. It comes from the verb morida, which means to not know. And then we have the grammar point get. <laughs> Normally you conjugate this like guess soyo. And this grammar form means I guess, or it looks like, or it must be. And normally the the verb moru gesoyo that means I'm not sure. And then we have another grammar point here, ni, which is added to the end of this verb as a question ending, like, don't you know? Moru ge ni? And this is informal. So don't use this with your teachers. <laughs> but if you want to ask someone a question, uh, you can add ni to the end of it. So if I wanted to say, did you sleep? I could say, cha ni. All right, let's move on to the next one. We have jom to hatage, wanjon wild hage. All right, there's a lot of words in the sentence. Uh, the first word is jom, which means a little bit, and that comes from the word chogum. It's a contraction of the word chogum. See, we're making things a lot shorter here in in this song. All right. The next word, the orange one, ta, means more. That was easy, right? And the next word, the green word, hot hage, is actually a Konglish word. Hot obviously means hot. <laughs> That's the English word. And then hage. Hage makes a word an adverb. So hot hage is more like hotly. Okay? And the next word, the blue word, one John, it means completely or totally. And then the pink word, wild hage, it's another Konglish word from wild and then that hage adverb. So wildly, wilder, wild hage. All right. And the red word we've got here, ta, we mentioned this before, that means more. And the orange word, kuge comes from kuda, which means to be big, but it's an adverb form of that, so kuge is like bigger, or if bigly were a word, <laughs> it would be bigly. <laughs> now, you're probably wondering, how does the ta kuge, how does that translate to louder? Well, ta kuge, more big, make it louder. And the thing they're talking about making bigger is the sound. So make the sound bigger, make it louder. So we're translating it as louder, make it louder. To kuge, make it louder. All right, and the next one we have is nal chaku hindura. 
and they say hindra twice there. The first word, the red word, nar, comes from the word na, which means me, and ru, which is an object marking particle. It lets us know the object of the sentence. So something is happening to me, na ru. If something's happening to you, na ru. If something is happening to the cat, koyangi ru. All right, the next word, the orange one, chaku, which means keep or continue. As in, why do you keep doing that? Chaku. And the last word, the green one, hindera, comes from the verb hindera, which means to shake. So we're conjugating this in the informal way, hindera. If we wanted it to be formal, it would be hindera yo, but it's not. <laughs> Nae chaku hindera. You keep shaking me, right? The next one we have is no lage hindera. No lage hindera. No lage is the adverb form of the verb no lada, which means to be surprised or amazing. So this one's a little bit interesting because no lada usually means surprised, and you can use it in the past tense, like I was surprised. No la soyo. But this is the adverb form of this verb, so no lage. So it's used as amazingly. And then we have hundero again, which we just mentioned means to shake. All right, the next one we have is pamse nawa shake it baby. Pamse, uh, the red word, means all night or all night long. And nawa means with me. Na means me. And wa means with. Nawa, with me. So, pamse nawa, shake it baby, means all night with me, shake it baby. <laughs> all right, guys. Now that we've talked about all the words individually, let's listen to the chorus again. Is everything starting to make sense? Hopefully it is. If anyone has any questions, please leave me a comment below. And also leave me a comment letting me know which video I should decode next. Annyeonghaseyo!